For some reason that I'm really not too sure of, lately YouTube has been recommending me videos on the brown note. What is the brown note, you may ask? Well, there's a claim that by producing a subsonic tone below the threshold of human hearing, you can induce a bowel movement. Today, we're gonna see if there's any truth to this crazy myth and how you can use it to bring embarrassment to your enemies. You may have heard of the brown note or brown noise from a number of pop culture references, be it South Park, Orange is the New Black, The League, or any others. There's no doubt that a sound wave can have a physical effect on the human body. If you've ever been up close to the stage at a rock show, you've probably felt the low sound of the kick drum resonating in your chest. On the flip side of the spectrum, with a little bit of luck in the right pitch, you can even break a glass with sound. So it seems within the realm of possibility that the right frequency can make you poop yourself. The rumors of this have been around long before anything was publicly recorded. According to Brown Note proponents, it was researched in secret during World War II. Because honestly, what could be more powerful than a weaponized dump? The earliest writing I could find on this dates back to the 70s with an article in New Scientist. They wrote a spoof article on a massive mechanical horn called the Colossophone that was built in the mid-1800s. Apparently, when this fictitious instrument was played, the sound emanating from the 110-foot horn would induce unpleasant physiological side effects like pain and diarrhea. When you're climbing up a ladder and you hear something splatter, Colossophone. Having read this article, it's easy to see how this could falsely be interpreted as truth as the humor is fairly dry. Since then, the rumor has spread like a stomach virus. Why? Well, let's be honest, it's pretty funny. Is it real? Well, first of all, I can tell you any YouTube video claiming to play the brown note is probably nonsense. Why? Because of technical limitations. It's claimed that the brown note exists somewhere between five and nine hertz. The hertz measurement can tell us how high or low a pitch will sound. The lowest pitch a human can hear is around 20 hertz. For reference, the lowest E string on a four string bass rings out around 41 hertz. So the brown note is well below anything we can hear. Because of this, any commercial audio technology you won't even be able to produce those frequencies. The lowest note my subwoofer can produce is 22 hertz. So forget about the lower frequencies on your headset or laptop speakers. So is there any truth to this note at all, even if the average person has no way of recreating it? It seems feasible that the body could have evolved to drop a number two at certain frequencies. When we encounter a threat in nature, our sympathetic nervous system jumps into high gear as to best prepare us to either encounter or run from this threat fight or flight. One of the things that can happen in this situation is that we release any waste that can hinder our response. The sounds at five to nine hertz can sometimes occur in nature during a tsunami or earthquake. Could it be possible that our ancestors who responded to this sound with a poop were more adept at survival? Well, I hate to break it to you, it doesn't seem so. The show Mythbusters did a pretty thorough investigation of this myth, bombarding host Adam Savage with this sub-frequency in the exact same conditions that people claim the audio laxative should work. On top of that, there hasn't been a single reputable study that backs up the brown note. Not to mention that the root of this myth was essentially a joke. To put the nail in this coffin, let's get a real professional opinion. I texted the best doctor in the world, my cousin Ben, who should be calling me any second now. Hey Ben, is there any truth to the claim that there's a brown note that can make people poop themselves? What? No, that's not how the body works. Steve, why do you have me call you? What's the emergency? I have patients. I'm in the middle of a surgery. There you have it. Having said all that, and while I couldn't find any evidence that says the brown note is actually real, I do firmly believe that there's music out there that can make you feel physically ill. There's enough of it out there that I'm sure if you looked hard enough, you could find some of it every day, bro. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I got new videos Mondays and Fridays, so make sure you stay tuned. And especially big shout out to all the people who support me through Patreon. You guys make these videos possible. I'm Samurai Guitarist, and I'll see you again soon.